Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm finally back to work on this little Kawasaki I got going here. Uh, the first thing I got to do this this morning is fix a screw up. Uh, one of my uh, YouTube watchers pointed out to me that I put the piston in backwards. Now, I looked at the piston and didn't see an arrow on it. And it looked pretty symmetrical to me. So I didn't figure there was any problem with it. So I just stuck it in there. Well, it turns out that uh, this person that brought this to my attention says that the, um, the rings, which the locators are supposed to be in the back, uh, now have the locators in the front, so the ends of the rings uh, have a tendency to catch on the uh, exhaust port. So, I went to the book and read the book, and the book doesn't say anything about that, but what it does say is that the piston, piston itself is not symmetrical that it's offset, the pin is offset by 0.5 millimeters. That's not a lot, but it is offset. And so we're going to fix both those problems and put the piston in the way it's supposed to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I've torn this thing apart so many times in front of the camera already that you don't need to see that. I'm just going to pull the head off, pull the jug out, take the piston, switch it around the other way, put it back in the jug, put the head back on and torque it down. So we'll see you when I'm done. All right, so took the head off, took the cylinder off, turned the piston around 180 and Put everything back together again, torque the head down, and now, what are we going to do now? All right, um, watching one of Dale Swiegers' videos, actually he was working on a Yamaha, but I'm thinking maybe it's the same on this one, that he adjusted the clutch uh, selection mechanism and I'm thinking my my mechanism looks exactly the same and looking at the parts list it it could have the same adjustment although it doesn't say anything in the manual about it we're going to take the cover off the other side and uh, see if there is an adjustment there and if I can do it before I try and make this thing run again. So let's go over on the other side and get the cover off. And uh, once I get into uh, doing the adjustment, I'll bring you back and show you what I'm doing. All right, so this is what I learned from Dale is a way to check these um, Dale Swigger, by the way. If you really want to know how to do anything, go go check out his channel. Um, anyway, this arm is activated by the uh, shift pedal on the other side. Goes through this shaft here. Now, right here is a centering device. It, it doesn't look like much, but this is uh, an eccentric here. And you can loosen the nut down underneath, and you can turn this eccentric. And that will cause this to move forward or backward. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that this pawl is equally centered between two of these pins, just like this is. I'm not describing it very well, but 
just like this is. Um, so this one is correct. I don't need to adjust it. Well, boys and girls, we got her all back together on the right side. And now I guess it's time to go work on the left side. So over here, whoa, I don't have it all back together. I don't have the kick lever on. But we got all the covers on. I'm missing four screws here. I might have some in there. I'll have to go look for that. Uh, I don't know if the uh, brake light switch works or not. I'll have to figure that out. Let's see if it moves at all. Yeah, it does. So I just need probably a, a spring that goes between this hole here and this hole here. I can see that my brake doesn't work because it's missing a nut, apparently. So... I think I see them back there. I got to get me a new place. The birds just raise hell with this thing. Okay. Let's go on to the left side, which is the um, high and low speed. And the cover over there, the uh, statter and flywheel. And let's see if we can get that on. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I just made me a nice little lunch of some sausage and eggs on little tiny buns, kind of like um, sliders, but uh, not quite. So anyway, we're back out here. And this afternoon, what we're going to do is we're going to put these ball bearings that you see down here in these holes and then we're going to put this cover back on and the shaft goes inside here and it's got like a little cam on it that pushes those ball bearings out in one position or another and that's all controlled by this switch up here on the handlebar so, we need to find us some grease, something that'll hold those in there while I mess around with it, because you got some on the bottom, some on the side. And we'll get all that done, and we'll just try and put this cover back on there just the way it is. But I may have, end up having to take off this silver unit you see here and put the gears on one by one. So, here we go. All right, so we got the cover in place. I had to take this uh, assembly out of here to do that. It didn't want to go together. Now, this gear is the first one we put on, and if you'll notice, there are right here and right here areas that are going to mesh with these posts in here. I don't know what else you'd call them. Tabs, I guess. So we got to get that in there and get it into the grooves like that all right that's locked together now so this shaft and this are locked together now we got the second gear for this shaft and you'll notice the uh, indentations here four of them that match up with the ball bearings that we just put in there a little while ago with some grease to hold them in place and that slides over the top of that then there's this gear which is kind of an idler and that's on 
So now we're ready for this. And this, this little knob right here that you see, that's the cam that goes in and out. And when it goes in, I don't know if you can see in there, but the ball bearings are here sticking through. And when this knob goes in, when you pull the lever up there, this moves in and out. And it changes from high to low. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put this all together. Oops, first, we do have a new gasket for it. Because you don't want water getting in your in your gears. They don't work real well when they're rusty. So then we'll put this. The shaft goes right in the center of that shaft there. And with a little bit of luck, we'll work it in. But I'm going to have to put the camera down. So I'll be back after I get it all together. Well, I made some progress today. I got everything back together on the engine, I think. And it's mounted. And the chain is in. And nothing's been tested. Let's take a look on the other side. Pretty much back together. These cables could stand to be replaced. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. So, my back is killing me. I'm done for the day.